Koh Phangan is a tropical island based in the Gulf of Thailand. Whilst it's known by most people for its full moon parties, what a lot of people don't realise is that there is a significant battle being raised for the health and welfare of the stray animal population. Hi, my name's Helen. I'm the PR and fundraising manager for PAX. PAX is a, a small a donation-based organisation. We were started 15 years ago by a lady called Siobhan. She's a vet. She was travelling um, and she got to Koh Phangan and realised that the, many of the animals, they weren't really getting any treatment. Many of them were in poor health and there were huge packs of dogs everywhere. And she found there were no vets on the island at the time and that the population control uh, was delivered by the government uh, through culling. So she wanted to try and make a difference and that's how PAX started. Next we caught up with PAX head nurse to get a better understanding of sterilisation. My name's Elle, um, I'm the head nurse here at PAX. Um, the benefits of neutering, uh, well for me it's everything um, as far as dealing with medical conditions, um, STDs, um, deaths of puppies which is just absolutely awful as well. Um, and cruelty, uh, wounds, everything basically, in a nutshell, comes down to neutering and sterilisation. Our travels took us to a local temple where we met with Duane Deck. Duane has had first hand experience of animals being abandoned at the temple. <laughs> เนี่ยเดี๋ยวเนี่ยระยะเนี่ยเนี่ยแล้วเป็นปัญหาจริงๆแล้วแล้วใครจะเข้ามาทําอืมถ้าจะปล่อยให้มันถ้าเราไม่
is that a lot of people move to Koh Panyan for a short period of time or already live there and decide to adopt an animal or feed an animal on a short-term basis without necessarily planning ahead for that animal's future. Whilst this is often an extremely well-intentioned gesture and the animals are fed and well looked after, what often happens is that it gets to the time where people have to go back home and it's at that point that the animals The effect of the animals getting abandoned is that they'll have to, in most cases, go straight back out onto the street. Often, other animals won't accept them and will attack them, sometimes resulting in dangerous injuries when they're brought back into packs for treatment. The best thing you can do is to plan ahead and make sure that there's continued provision for the animal's welfare when you leave. During our visit to Koh Pan Yan, we learnt a lot about the great work which PAX does on a daily basis to help nurture and keep the stray population free. In order to continue this work in the future, it's clear that ordinary people can help tackle many of the challenges by getting their animals sterilised. If your dog is owned, please take it to one of the following registered vets.